Hi, I'm Jenny Long. And I'm Celie Clark. And, and we are Shinnily. We are EdTech consultants, speakers, bloggers, and authors of the Microsoft Teams Playbook. Our goal is to empower educators with tools to make learning accessible and fun. We hope this video helps. In this video, we will show you how to create a table in Canva for Education. And I am going to click on the top right-hand corner on Create a Design. And from there, I am going to choose Presentation. Now, you can choose any type of Canva template to put a table in, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to use uh, a presentation. Then on the left-hand side, I'm going to click on Elements. And then in the search area, I'm going to type in Table and click Enter. Now, you're going to see a few table options. I'm simply going to click See All so that I can see everything that's available. And there's a few different options, and I'm going to choose a few to show you for this demonstration. So then I'm going to move them over just a little bit so that we have a good view of each table. Now you're going to see here this one is shaded. We've got some different variances of shading and this one just has a shading along the top and this one doesn't have any shading, just some borders. So when I click on this first one here, you're going to see three dots at the top on the left hand side and then three dots at the bottom. So let's explore what is behind those three dots. So when I click on the three dots at the top, you're going to see some options here. I can also merge the cells. I can add a column, delete a column, move columns left and right, size them equally. And then I can even lock columns and lock positions. When I click on the three dots on the left hand side, you have similar options available to you. Again, you have merge cells. You can size your rows equally, size your columns equally. Lots of options here available to you to um, edit each of these cells and columns. Now, when I click on the three dots on the bottom, we have a few less options, but again, same similar things. You can add columns, add rows. So these are more kind of like quick, quick options here, move columns left and right or up and down. So when I click inside of a cell, I can type just like I normally would on my document. And then I can see that's really small. So I want to increase the size here. I can change my font. So you have the same um, edit options that you would inside of your template. Now, when I click on the color box here, I have colors available to me. I have my brand colors. If there's a specific color you want to use, you can click the plus and add a new color. If you know the hex code, you can type that here, or you can choose the eyedropper and you can actually pick from a design that you might have that you want to grab that specific color from. So those are great options. To the right of the color option, I have borders. So if I wanted to add borders, remove borders, or even add color to my borders, I can do that as well. So lots of options available to you within your design to create tables. So start exploring and have fun creating tables.